how are you hope you are all in the pink of health i am atun roy and you are watching bond making and bond breaking channel today i will give you a beautiful mechanism to prepare benzene diazonium chloride from aniline so without wasting time let's go and see how the mechanism will occur okay so the chemical reaction is aniline aniline to prepare benzene benzene n2 plus and cl minus benzene diazonium chloride okay firstly to prepare uh, aniline to benzene diazonium chloride you required na no2 and hcl okay na no2 and hcl na no2 and hcl it gives you indirectly h no2 it gives you h no2 now look this is h no2 so you can write h no2 in this way in this way you can write h no2 in this way okay so now o has lone pair now o has lone pair so this is h no2 okay if you give h plus if you give h plus look if you give h plus the lone pair donates its electron to h plus it's fact it's fact so the bond o double bond n o h2 and this is this sign is represent plus and we know what is a good leaving group so you can prepare easily o n positive okay so you can prepare o n positive okay now so you have a nno2 and hcl you can prepare hno2 and hno2 you can write hno2 in this way this is the structure of hno2 if you write this structure then you just protonate it 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 form h2o and we know that h2 is a good living group so it remove and when it remove from here so n gives you positive sign so this is no okay now now you write aniline now you can write aniline that is n h2 and n has lone pair and n has lone pair this lone pair lone pair has a great tendency to go to the positive and attractive positive is attracted by lone pair when positive is attracted by lone pair look what happened what happened the formation is this is benzene now this is n and this h2 i can write this h2 in this way okay h this is h2 so h2. now this is n and this is double bond o but n gives it it shows you positive okay okay <coughs> okay i'm sorry this n shows you positive it is neutralized by lone pair but it donates its lone pair so it form positive charge now n n is an electronegative element so it is not possible or it is very dangerous to form cation on the high electronegative element so hydrogen gives its bond hydrogen gives its bond okay so what will you see <clears throat> what will you see this is this is benzene and this h and n in a lone pair 
This is in and the double bubble. Okay. Let's see this. Look. This is plus terminal. N has plus charge on its head, and it is not possible for an electronegative or for an high electronegative element. So hydrogen donates its electrons. Finally, we get hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Right? Okay. Now, lone pair has tendency to form resonance. Lone pair donates its electron. This is pi electron. So, pi electron removed from here when it removed from here it shows negative charge and negative charge has tendency to attract H. Okay. What will you see? What will you see? You just see that you just see that this is N and in donates its elect electron. So don't want then O, then H, and this is lone pair. Okay, this is lone pair. Now, now it's your time to give protons or H plus. When you give H plus, lone pair is here. So H plus lone pair has great tendency. To attack the so lone pair attack this H plus. What will you see? Now you can see that N double bond N and as O donates its lone pair, so O form positive OH2. And you can learn from here that H2 is a good living group. So this group is this group should be from here. So you get so you get finally n to plus n to plus you get finally n to plus. Now you can form with Cl minus and you know this is plus and this is minus so you can form a bond easily and this is your required product that is benzene diazonium chloride benzene diazonium chloride look what happened you have aniline and you want to prepare benzene diazonium chloride so you get this nno2 and hcl nno2 and hcl form hno2 this is hno2 and now uh, we can write HNO2 in this way, in this structure. So you write this, then protonated it. Oxygen donates its lone pair. So this is OH2. No, this is H2O, but O has positive charge. So H2 is a good living group. So we'll remove from here. So ON, N gives you positive charge. Now take aniline. Aniline has lone pair, lone pair has tendency to attack the positive so lone pair goes to attack so lone pair this is nitrogen and nitrogen give its lone pair so positive and this H2 now nitrogen and oxygen so you can form this but nitrogen is an electronegative element so it is not possible to form positive on nitrogen so it gives its electrons so the Next product is H N N O. This is H N N O. So N has lone pair. It donates its lone pair to form pi bond, and this pi bond is removed from here. So it shows negative charge, but negative has tendency to attach the positive. So it takes this hydrogen. So the product N double bond, N double bond, N single bond O, single bond O, and O has tendency to attack the H. So this is O H. Now take another H plus. So, lone pair has tendency to attack the H plus. Lone pair has attack. Lone pair has attacked it. 
okay non pair has tendency to attract this h plus so o h2 so h2 o but positive oxygen is an electronegative element and it gives you the positive it is not possible it is very dangerous so bond should be removed from here or so bond should be broken so h2 o removed from here and you can form n plus then attack with cl minus it can give you benzene diazine product so this is the simple mechanism okay okay thank you so much hope you enjoyed it if you have any problem you can comment on my comment box thank you so much take care of your health thank you goodbye